Okay, Azir first pick for your gal. Cream with the Corky. Oh shit. Lil bro, watch Chovy. There we go. Dive angle could be terrifying. Okay. This dive looks like it should work. It should just be straight onto ruler's forehead. He can't play. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. He's dead. Mako start. Boom, he's dead. Clean. Kill, kill, kill missing too. Kill missing too. Nice. Stay, 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 stay. Stay, no. Stay. Dive this, dive this, dive this, dive this. Bro, they had, they have free dive here. They just, they're afraid that jungler could be here, but they, they should know jungler's not here based on their wards. I got a three six nine special. No, not really. I mean, he was like known for it way back in the day, but he just started picking it recently into like Rexai. It's like one of his counter picks into Rexai. Like this hadn't been picked in like five years or something. Last time it was picked, it was by three six nine though. I mean, this is the reason why I think he wanted to be on the top esports instead of JDG. Just that when he plays on top esports, he can kind of play everything. Whereas, well, like when he's on JDG, he was pretty much perma weak side. I don't think Urgot is actually a rec side counter, though. It's like, like you can play it, but I, I mean, wouldn't say it's a counter at all. Oh, okay. Play onto missing. Missing has flash here. Okay, they get both sums for package here. Nice for top esports. The thing is that they use package, so they won't have it synced with. Um, the Drake that's spawning right now. I mean, uh, they'll have it synced with the next Drake, but they just won't have uh, package for this Drake. The last game had was two to fourteen in a forty-five minute game. Actively wanting to fight this again. There's no package this time. Kanavi. Okay. Kanavi kicks. Mm. Tien has to ult here. He should have ulted earlier, I think. Okay, Flandre onto Tien. Doesn't kill though. Three six nine has no TP. Top Esports has to leave. They got away with murder here, though, playing without um, playing without their own TP. Let's see what 369 gets topside. It must be a joke, right? It must be a joke. I'm getting memed. They're going to be able to push two here. I think they just go for tier two. They're going to get tier two. They can, bro. They get, they could, they could hit this, bro. They could whack this. They're afraid of a uh, package TP, I think, from Cream. Actually, his pa his package wouldn't even be up by, by now. Big from three six nine. This is such a good timing, by the way. This is such a good timing. One minute forty seconds before Drake, he ends up uh, getting Ruler's Flash. Gives them big advantage for the Drake fight. But I mean, JDG can give this Drake anyway. Three six nine though. Two-man play onto the Urgot. Can they bring down the crab man? Doesn't look like it right now. It's Kanavi gets a flash kick. Maybe they can after all. Yag out. Big play. Top Esports can't react to this. Feels like Top Esports is kind of getting ran around in the map a bit. They did get the Drake, but it was a good answer play from JDG. Leads him to going down. And yeah, the TP especially. What a, what a questionable. Oh, fight. Fight has uh, just been caught. That's a huge pick for top esports. I really wish we could have seen the south for that one. That's, uh, that's just a massive opportunity now. Or oh. is it Yagao's Okay. 369 gets pushed under the turret. What is what is happening with missing there, bro? What happened to the missing clone? They're already having the TP come in from Kareem. We'll see if JDG even opt into contesting this, because again, it, it would be sole point for Tez, but it wouldn't be end of the world. This package has to be huge, and it's not. He just uses it defensively. Package ends up being like nothing here. So JDG actually getting... Oh, and 369 just failed to Z. It's forced a flash. I mean, they give this Drake. I think uh, JDG should start Baron off this. I think they should just run straight at Baron. I think you just go Baron here, bro. They're so out of position, and you just got flashes. Like, you can at least leverage some people to suicide if you start Baron. They're going enemy jungle first, trying to deny enemy red. This is not the kind of game. I mean, they don't have to actually start the Baron. Like, they could just take red, take jungle camps, get deep vision, spot the enemy. LP no, LPL is really bad at Corky. This is like one of the worst LPL picks. I, I almost never think that the team that picks Corky will win. Like the champion, if if it loses here, it's like 19% win rate. Hey, TN looking to potentially steal. Flodra is in really weird position. Flash from missing. He's engaging. Okay, decent kick from Kanavi. Crazy angle. No, but he's getting turned on and his team can't get through, it looks like. Is there no shuffle angle for your gal? Okay. Can Flandre get this tunnel? Doesn't look like it. Wow, top esports end up winning this. Can he get ruler's flash as well with like an E into Q? 
Wow, they're gonna get Baron, bro. What the? F Huge throw from JDG. Isn't a zero also like 20% win rate in LPL? No, I don't think so. Gonna lead to a Baron because they're hoping to dissuade this. I can check. Okay, huge! Huge! They can't do it anymore. All right, now it's becoming just a complete flip. After he was re-enabled, re he's 31%. Yeah, I mean, it depends on which teams are playing it. It hasn't been played that much since it was re-enabled, though. Very far away. It was just playoffs, right? Like, Knight doesn't really play it, and that's the best team who's winning most of their games. Okay, they got it. They just flipped it with the, with the, uh, with the Varus. 369 got a huge fear, though. Oh, they're all dead. Can they end? Do they, they have midwave. Oh, Kanavi just is crazy here. Can they end? No, no, they can't end. Yeah, same, bro. Okay, hey, Gao's getting caught. Maybe they get his flash. He doesn't flash this. He doesn't need to. Okay, missing has an angle. Missing has an angle. Missing has an angle. Oh, he only gets two. He gets front line. It was a good reaction flash from Jackie Love. Oh, Flandre is still alive somehow. Bro, how is Flandre still alive? Oh my God. Okay, this is just, this game is just done. Three grubs. I think they can end. I think they can end. Flandre just tanks us. Yeah, it's over, it's over, it's over. Damn, we got a series over here, too. They have another wave, they have another wave, it's fine. Damn, bro, what the f***? Varus, first pick for Jackie Love. He's been absolutely insane on it, bro. He's been really good on it. Tristana for Cream. That's another pick. I mean, this is already a good draft for them. Are they going to follow this up with a Rumble Flex? I really like the 1 2 3 from Top Esports for them. Kind of a fucking banger. Okay, a Gao on his uh, Talia, but Tristana is considered counter to Talia. Not because of the laning, but because um, once you get into the mid game. The Tristana can just perma play on side lane and Talia can like get stuck under turret. Do we get a Nico ban for top esports? I'm down with a Nico ban, but maybe you ban Renata because it is missing. But I feel like you wouldn't care that much about Renata. I would ban Nico. Renekton Sejuani. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Flandre, what are you going to play? Will he go something like his... Will he go like Quinn, maybe, with Cleanse? I don't even think it's good, but, like, for Flandre to play... I'm just wondering what else Flandre would play. Because he's been playing, like, carry tops and stuff recently. Orin is okay. I mean, they have pretty good team fighting later on. 369 is, like, a master of this matchup, though. Generally, he gets really far ahead. Did you win this game? No, I mean, I, I think Top Esports win this game from... For, based on my understanding of top esports, I think they would win this game. 369 can force uh, Flandre TP here. He's not going to flash W? Oh, he had no W. I think not a great angle there, but they were hoping to find the turn because Kanavi's still not 6. Tien does have smite. Oh, Kanavi's level 6, but 369 is here. They're going on to Renekton. That seems weird. That seems really weird. But there's still 2v3 at the end. No, no, no. 2v3 is good for them. 2v3 is good. They win this. Okay, wait. This game is fucking a wrap, by the way. This game is a fucking wrap. Uh, Flandre has no... Um, yeah, Flandre has no flash. He's dead. God damn. That's why you go Renek to Sejuani right there. They're insane at that point. I really didn't like the way that um, Kanavi played it. He should have just ulted onto uh, onto Tien and they should have one shot Tien. 369 Renekton, and it's over. Bro, he's just, he's a beast. That guy's a fucking monster. You don't fuck with that guy. This is like, let's see. Let's see how easy this is. Clean. Clean, bro. Clean, 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 clean. We're playing right here. Being as strong as he is, I'm not sure that this is really the dive angle that they want it to be. Now, missing slowed as well, gets knocked up. Okay, they're going into Jackie Love. Oh, horrible flash. Bro, no one can flash Ornold, man. I've noticed this. And he, even, even if he flashes the Ornold, he's still fing dead. Like, maybe in some crazy world he could trade on Tia Gao, but no one can flash Ornold for some reason, man. That shit is impossible. What a strong position they're in with a 3k gold lead, so. A bit behind on the times for TS for 369. Huge! 369! Your gal was crying, bro. God damn, that's my goat right there. I love that guy. 369 is one of my favorite players.
I love that guy, bro. He's so sick to watch. And he carried me in solo queue when he was in North America. He carried my old ass. My goat. My goat. It is getting messy. We're going to game four. Looking for a little bit more. The rest of the team coming over. Three six nine. She dashes. Three six nine is just on him. He's just got red buff, bro. He's got. Okay, I guess it's just like that, man. How broken is Renekton? Oh, Kanavi? Kanavi should die for that. Oh, he got blood. Oh, that was so unlucky for Cream, bro. What? Can somebody flash into the pit? I was thinking Tien should flash into the pit on ironically there. That's fine. You just walk over. No, and like you said, Kanavi's low. He's trying to get a bit of help back by fighting these dragons, but it's gone. Oh, Tien's live. Nice. I want top esports to go to MSI. That's what I want. I want top esports to be at MSI. These guys get a really bad rap. It's been a lot better. And they don't deserve it, man. Like, Jackie Love, uh, people need to see Jackie Love play at Worlds again. They need, or in international competition again. Like, 2022, that shit was held against him, where I don't even think it was his fault. Like, Wayward played horrible at that tournament. There was that unlucky bullshit with, like, Ma as well. Like, they just, they had, they had a team collapse. Uh, Jackie Love is on form. Mako is back on form. 369 is him. And no one even knows Cream, bro. If you weren't an OMG enjoyer, you just don't even know Cream. So LPL is three or four slots, all four. Oh, Cream got knocked out of it. He has flash though. He has flash. He's okay. Cream is okay. Oh, three six nine is just murdering you, gal. Damn, dude, what a fucking classic game from three six nine. He let him know. You remember me, guys? You remember me? Don't forget why we were on the golden road. Because I'm the fucking goat. That's what he said. He goes, Senna. What are you pairing the Senna with, though? Ari for cream? Bro, I would just take Rakan every time, bro. It's missing. Come on. Is it just going to be like Zinjao pick for Tian on four if it's left up? I think that's probably what you have to do. Jax. Okay. They're going They're going Zin on four. I think JDG should just ban the Zin. So there's the Zin that we saw. I think it should have been banned. Why would you ban Sejuani, bro? Zen is so much better. So it ends up being the Viego pick. I mean, I do like JDG's draft more, I think. But this is actually a really good 2v1 from Top Esports. So, Top Esports going top here to avoid the uh, Ash lane, the Ash Callista lane, because they're really strong at level 1. I want to see, though, because I don't actually think this is real, by the way. I don't think that this is real, where you should be able to 2v1 here. I think Top Esports should lose out on this 2v1. Like, I think that they can actually hit the turret and, like, destroy the turret bot lane with 280 carries. And it's not that easy for Top Esports to do the same thing. So, let's see how the 2v1 works. Check Romain's Twitter, brother went all out. Did he paint G2 on his... Oh, he's kind of being separated. We'll see if Tien can at least force a flash here. He doesn't just get a wooden spoon. He gets a tip and a spear behind it as well. That's going to be flash forced from... Can he TV Flyer. back, though? Can he one. TV back and potentially so catch? Many minions going to be going down there. Three, six, nine, he sees uh, Zin leaving. He's going to TV top. Yes. W start level one. I like it. It's really good. Walks away with his but he's gonna TP back as well. I think Fodger should. Oh wait, no, Fodger has no TP. What am I saying? He took ignite. He shouldn't have taken ignite in this game though. <laughs> you don't need ignite versus Cassandra. There's <laughs> ignite will TP. He did start W. He should just TP bot. I think. I don't think they can redive, can they? It's not that easy. All right, there he's TPing now. Wonder what he was waiting for. Oh, he W'd at a weird timing. Yeah. Okay. Is E now? Okay, they actually kill him twice. I think that that was kind of weird, like W usage. He was trying to CC ruler of the turret. He w played it aggressively to try to get a kill. But yeah, I mean, this is what I'm saying. Like the two v one, I don't think is actually real here. Try to make something happen on the ruler, but I don't see any world where you were not just gonna get redo with how many minions were waiting in the wings. So JDG, really feeling fortunate. Oh no, that's a red buff Oh my God, fail flash too. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the 2v1 is really fake from Top Esports. They should have just laned normally. 
Uh, but maybe they just can't lane normally, in which case they should have not picked uh, Senna TK. Missing his flash. Ruler is dead. Gave the shutdown to Jackalove here. Huge. I don't feel like JDG needed to match, though. I feel like they could have just kept on going bot. And they're ahead in tempo. They're ahead in the in the situation. Send TK should go back bot. Yep, they should match bot here. It's true. But look at how hard Top Esports got denied. The Senna is down 44 CS. GG. Bro, that shutdown is so big for Senna. I mean, what is the gold difference right now? Dive is looking really good here. Oh, man, no one's covering it. Holy shit. This is terrible for them. This is not a fight that you can win. And now, finally, they get to deny some CS. A little bit of revenge for what's been going on. Kanavi's not level 6. How can you play? You have no damage. Good play from Top Esports. They don't have TP. Before even one ult is there for either of JDG's bot laners. Really nice. Die. 369 in trouble. Buffers a lot there with the W. The Jesus. Through Mako TPs into the play. Denying the, the TK TP. And, denying all of this investment and then look at like bot lane is literally just completely open. They're losing two waves. JDG is getting ran around the map, bro. They're getting ran. Crazy. They're losing out on two waves. Two of the lanes are just completely because of this like the wave is pushing back to top esports bot lane so they're they're in a better situation there as well okay talia is matching the dive oh he got kidnapped Finds the W. Can they finish the kill? That Flandre now having flash on cooldown will be slowed. Will be okay. Gets a flash though, and Kanavi and Yagao get Ari's ult on the way back mid. Not bad. Okay, a bit of a trade in mid. Cream looks like he's winning out on it. Oh, Flandre stuck around the flash. Yeah, Flandre stuck around to get the wave. It's honestly fine by him. It's the smallest of constellations. Okay. Who hit these? Oh, huge. Oh, cream! My goat. That's my boy right there. My boys, my. I don't want to say he's going to MSI, but he might be going to MSI. Nah, no way cream gets to go to MSI. Imagine he just starts playing Kiana and bullshit like that at MSI and just fucks up the whole tournament. I would lose my mind. And you know, we've only recently had multiple seeds. Cream is caught by yet another. Ah, shit. Ah, shit, my homie. Oh, no. Make a flash to try to help him. This is kind of sus. Missing? What the f are they doing? JDG is in feeding. Oh, he missed. He's actually alive. Missing is... Missing dead? Wait, it's actually good. He gets the shield. Oh, he didn't get the W? Jackie Love is trying to kill everyone. Oh, oh Jackie Love gets all. That was intense, bro. Bro, this shit was was close. It's actually big that Mako eats Tien though and gives him the shield. For some reason, just skip into the second part of this fight. But Jackie Love here hits the binding. He had no W though. He wasted W. If Tien didn't waste W here, he, he could maybe kill all. Tien and Mako buy space. And then it's here where I love that he's the owner. So like, hey, I just need to flash in to finish this one off, and we have a one v two. Damn, I, I did I see a nice up? Just so last split second in the meantime. Saves his AD carry kicks Jackalov out to safety and Arrow doesn't do much here. Jackalov is pretty strong here. He's really accelerated because of all the kills. Trying to go into Mako it doesn't really do too much. I mean, Mako is really fucking tanky. Mako is dead. Three six nine is just in there, bro. Gets eaten, goes back in. Bro, they're just a team. Damn, the boys. Oh, flash from Cream, clean. Ended up having to move Ash up top so that he could get turret with you, gal. 
it's really great to see Tien when he's on form. Oh, yeah, Gao gonna be caught out. Flashes away the charm, not used though. Cream holds it until the flash is gone. Even Clean. The spirit rush so he doesn't get stunned. They're gonna, they're first here. They're gonna try to make a play happen. Uh, they're not doing it. They CTP. I'm missing just dead. It's over, bro. It's over. You can tell that they're. You can tell. You can tell. Tell mentally they're just done. For God's sake, like this the biggest is bounty. brutal. This is absolutely brutal. It looks so okay. to start off with. Make a force to flash. He didn't get Drake yet. Oh, Cream just flanked onto Ruler. Ruler's dead. Okay, Cream. Cream wants to go to MSI. Just a Baron start. No rumble ult. Talia can ult them off though. Yeah, and missing is has no Callisto ult. Okay, they actually get him off of it. Not bad. He's lost more games overall. Now with a different look, keeping three six nine down towards spot has TP to join in. Arrow lands, but it's not really the best target. Flip back onto TN doesn't really matter. I mean, it just feels like it fizzles out, doesn't it? It doesn't feel like there's that much really coming out from JDG. That, like, BLG was considered like, pretty much like a fluke. And, and nothing happened. No. It's just so awkward, right? Because who really can, can safely walk yeah, I don't know. No one. I mean, even Kanavi being on the Viego, if he goes too far forward and gets caught by something, okay. it can just down, you go. This is a free kill. They killed Yagao. That's, that's going to be Baron. Yagao kill is enough to get Baron. Towards finals, if they can finish this game, two picks come on through. Head towards MSI if they can finish this. They break this, go Baron. GG 23 clears BLG 2024. That's because you're comparing like JDG when they were on the golden road and once they like went to MSI and looked good to MSI compared to like a team at this point in their split. Like BLG was significantly more dominant than JDG was. This could be the fight that decides it all. Oh, oh Flandre is caught and he's just not tanky. Cream resets on the spirit rush, looking for more as well. Kanavi caught with the charm. Can't quite finish that kill, but honestly, a chunk Jack of has 120 stacks on Senna. Top esports after his vacation. Over on JDG. And now wins I'd also the say the competition is just better this year. The land, the like from the other teams that BLG are beating. Anyway, it's Mako to find him. He was trying to get to Mako so Mako could ult. Maybe that kill means that they can't end. You know, at least if JDG can't get the chance to go for a fourth title in a row, 369 can, right? 369 can go carry that torch because it looks insurmountable. Kanavi looking for the angle. Oh, but he's gone too deep. Oh, Kanavi just knows it's over. Dives onto the rest of his team. It's as one sided as you like, but top esports will be over the moon with Damn. This. Cream makes it to MSI, bro. The f***ing little baby, the 17-year-old in 2021 that came into LPL playing Kiana when Kiana wasn't even meta at all. Playing only melee champs has now made it to MSI, bro. Look at the smile, bro. Look at him. He still looks like a baby.